Chigili zinto manji. Precious one, a life so young that left footprints in my heart. Now embedded in my soul. She's one, a life so young that left footprints in my heart. Now embedded in my soul. Oh, precious one, your life had not begun. I spread towards the shore. May your legacy.
Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to ask you to please rise to your feet before we get the program started. We would like to take a moment of silence, Sizitobe, and recognize the passing and Kotama, Kusido Samabant. A moment of silence. Thank you. We would like to welcome every single African that's joining us here today on this very unbelievable yet so important and memorable day. We would like to welcome every single one of you here today that's joining us at the Santin AOG Church. We would like to welcome friends, colleagues, the entertainment family at large. We would like to welcome every single supporter and every single fan and every single follower of our gentle, humble giant, of our king of the art, of our one of one, brother, father, icon. My name is Tapelo Mukwena. I am not directing this program by myself today. San Monani Uktula Wengosi, Velinango, Talizum Nom Shaba, Nagogonga Pansiwako, Gulungolo Namanja, Uyen Ute, Gunzima, who looked in a sum deni, Nabangani, Ne Industry, Slashigalum for it. Wow, you Ozani Zoka Shapans with Tunes, Lumqua, Lequa Palami. You won't go to a man who told Nigay is Bindi, over my young now, who told me is Bindi. So Zoma Pam Gueno, give a little sum for it. Many people would like to think that Menzi was my colleague. But Menzi was not my colleague, but Menzi was my brother. Mzala ose no wini no so finde ngenzo ni nzi magaku. You know, last year there were rumors that Menzi had passed away and I remember we got a frantic call. We were on set and I was trying to get hold of his wife, Skoni. We call each other Skoni for sister-in-law. And when I couldn't, I tried his phone. His phone just rang. Then I went to the production office to find out what was going on, and I believe they were trying to find out from Desra. I called Desra. There was just pandemonium on set. Eventually, Uskoni called back. I was saying, Uskoni, when Zagalani, what's in Gani? Nothing in a Gisulega Namas, Sulego Gusho, Giswani. That's Uskoni, when Zagalan, what's in Gani? Natiba to put a seco. What's our equilion to put whom she has been. The next time I spoke to Menzi, 
I told him how relieved I was. He was very angry that these lies had been spread. One time, he said that we are calling a corner. And I got it. And I believed him. This is extremely hard. But when Uput Pony phoned me two days ago and said, Sissy, we are putting you in the program, the funeral program, Ekaim Nambit, as one of the speakers, I was driving. I Kwa wasiga ngufige lugu tumnika zwalo lselo ufunu utlenze genze la yaki. Uya ishele li ndo zaki. Ngase itik lungile. Lungile baba. Mayenze ginda ndo yako. My local gay, if you know what he, my what is some gay little thing done to Uncle Lena. I seem for me, I would like to introduce Obaba Advocate Don Nebeja. Also in houses for Lila on Kuleko. Well, my bitch. Geku Sobo on Shengawe on Gikata Lela Jalo Ganti Senga Bega Gonke. Good morning to everybody in the auditorium. Good morning to everybody that is watching online. And I want to pay tribute and acknowledge the Ngubane family, the Sishuba family. Usiswe Tusigelelwa and the children of course, we are now joined by the Deputy Minister Zizu Gwadwa, who I also wish to acknowledge. And I greet everybody in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I've been requested to lead the opening devotion. Thank you, program directors. And I wish for us, as we prepare to ascend, to pray, just to consider a passage 
found in Psalm 103. I am pleased that I am not going to be delivering the sermon. We have amongst us Father Semi Masemula, who is from the St. Thomas Anglican Church in Linden. He is the priest who would have delivered many sermons, I believe, over our brother Menzi, as well as our sister Sigele Elwa, who is a member of the church. And we are thankful to God that as sent in Assembly of God, we were privileged to be asked to host at this time. Now, David says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not his benefits. He who forgiveth my sins, he who heals all my diseases, he who takes me out of the pit, bless the Lord, O my soul. I want us to consider the following that God made man in his own likeliness and in his own image. Trinity of God, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Trinity of man, spirit, soul, and the body. We all know that the body is the flesh. As we go and lay the remains of all our loved ones, we say, dust to dust, because the body goes back where it should go. But many believe that the soul never dies where the spirit resides, where the intellect of man is, where the mind is, the controlling conduit of everything that you decide. You decide to walk, to come to the funeral or the memorial service, the mind must agree. If it has not, it will not allow you to come. When we face difficulty like we do now, somber moments like this, incumbent upon us as human beings, is to reflect on what is happening. The sadness of it, the shock related to it, the amaze with it, and even past judgment, how unfair it could be. But David, faced with similar circumstances, then rises up and says, you soul, my controlling arm, you where the mind sits, I'm having a conversation with you and I'm saying to you, you must bless God. You must bless God even if the situation is terrible. You must bless God even if it looks unfair. You must bless God because you must remember. You must remember my soul that he is the one that gave me so many benefits. God has blessed your family with this wonderful gift in Budmenzi. He's blessed South Africa with this wonderful soul in Budmenzi. And we have to say Whatever the case may be, thank you, we bless you God for him. And as we start this service, it is my sincere hope and wish that everything that we do, let us not allow our souls to forget to bless God. May we stand and take a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, that which we have been given as more exalted and powerful in heaven, more exalted and powerful on earth, more exalted and powerful under the earth. We come to you this afternoon on this difficult day where many of us cannot be able to completely comprehend. We live in this day where we have to say, Good night, goodbye until we meet again to your son, your servant who has served his purpose on this earth who has been a sense of humor a sense of entertainment a sense of soothing to many of us that watched him across the television sets you gave us. He has been a source of support to the family, to his wife, to his children and has played his part on this earth we say this morning or rather this afternoon 
May you receive his soul, Lord. We are praying that you receive his soul for our souls never die. They carry our spirits to give a report on what we did on earth. And this afternoon we pray, receive his soul, let him rest in peace. For many people are not resting after death, for their souls wander all over the show. We are praying for his resting of his soul. And may you, Lord, as we remain in this place, as this program unfolds, anoint everybody in this place to speak words that build and not destroy, to encourage and comfort the family in a manner that we in our words may not be able to do so. And we bless your name, whatever the situation, for you are God and in your sovereignty, you've taken this choice. Bless the Lord my soul and everything within me. In the name of Jesus, we say this. Amen. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to emphasize that today, as difficult a day as it is, we are here to remember this gigantic life, to celebrate this life, to honor this life and to really sing our brother's praises. I don't think anybody in this room expected Menzi to leave us as early as he did, but we're here today and it feels to me that there's no better time to really echo and celebrate this, as I call him, this gentle, humble giant. Being from Ladysmith, Langzalako Nemnambit, a Sutu boy raised by the Zulus. I grew up hearing about Umenzi Ngubane in my town. Of course I knew who he was because I watched him every day on TV. I, I could identify with who Menzi was. But still at that time, growing up in Ladysmith, growing up in a small town, growing up in Makaya, it felt unreal that I could ever meet him. You know, when I was young, you know, I had a strict curfew. <laughs> and um, secondly, it was just unreal, you know. Born and bred in Ladysmith, which is the same town, same town where Lady Smith Black Mambazo was from, but I grew up and I'd never seen them. The same town where Sugar Boy Malinga was from. I probably saw him when I was in like grade 11. And then there was the myth, the legend, Umenz in Gubane. And I will never forget, um, and I remember when I was writing my tribute to him and for him on social media when I heard. I went straight back to that small town. <laughs> which was the place where I met him for the first time. But how it happened was for me the beginning of of many things to come. I said in my tribute, Umenzi made us small town people believe that we also stood a chance, that we could also go out there and get it. Interesting story, um, my first year in Johannesburg, I'm in varsity, and like every person that's not from the city, Every time you have school holidays or varsity holidays, you pack your bags and you go back home. And I remember first year at Vitz, I was very lost, I was studying accounting. <laughs> that December, I packed my bags and I went home. And because I was older and I was in first year, I could suddenly, you know, leave at any time I wanted to leave the house, the curfew wasn't as tight. And of course, everybody from our town would all get together, especially those that 
you know, have come back home from either school or work or, you know, we'd all get together because we're all back and we want to trade stories. And I remember this one day I got picked up because I didn't suddenly have a curfew. And I was going to one of the houses in town in Ladysmith where there was a bribe. You know, um, a lot of the kids that had come back had gotten together. It was our first year outside of our homes and, you know, it was quite a special moment for us. And I remember walking into this house as a first year, I was come back home from accounting at Vids, not doing well. But you know, I'm old enough to go out when the sun is down. So I go to this house and I walk into this house. I'm meeting a lot of friends. And then at the corner of the room, I thought my eyes were playing games with me, you know, at the corner of the room, I see humans in Kobane, just chilling, relaxed, humbled. He's not busy, he's just sitting. And you can see the commotion. Everybody's just all around him, getting energy from him. And at that time, I'd started doing some TV commercials, still not sure if I'm trying to go into the film and TV industry. But I knew who he was. And I had zero idea that he even knew who I was. I was just seeing this icon, this guy that I watched religiously in the flesh. Eventually, Ngato Lugu's Kutaza, and I stepped up to him and I shook his hand and I greeted him. One, I couldn't believe how humble and soft-spoken he was being who he was, he shook my hand. And he said to me, meaning I see you. I'm like, Mbona, people, do you know? He's like, no, I see you. I've seen your work, I like what you're doing. <laughs> now you can imagine like hearing this from this iconic human being and you literally scrambling, trying to find who you are on this earth. And like I said on my tribute, I called him Wakiti. Because from that moment on, every time he saw me, this brother, he always said to me, hey, Wakiti. Lo and behold, six, seven months later, I joined the big soapy. Because my audition had gone well. And suddenly I'm meeting this brother in the corridors of the SABC. First time he laid eyes on me, he got out of his room and he said, Wagiti. That means Mkai, homeboy. And he just hugged me. I'm nervous, I'm intimidated, I'm and that was the beginning of my journey as an artist where I really believed that I was at the right place and I belonged to this industry and I had what it takes. I could go on and tell stories about Tumenzi forever and forever. And I hadn't seen him for years till this day. But every time I'd speak to him or see him, it was Wakiti. So it's quite unbelievable that we're standing here today speaking about Menzi and he's not in our presence. And when the family called to say, we need you to stand up for the small town of Umnambit, Ladysmith, and the small town people and the small town dreamers, I said, I'll take that flight. We'll make it happen. Like I said, I could go on forever. And I'll leave it right there for now. And I'd like to call up his industry brother and sister, my colleagues, Usonia Mbele and Utato Mulamu, to come up on stage and just share a word or two 
about this gentle giant of ours. On goofs and goofs. Thank you. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best. I promise I won't let you guys down. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm just checking if we are all here and uh, we remember why we're here and who we're representing. He would walk in a room in the middle of an afternoon and he would say, good morning, because he's just trying to check if we're all awake. <sighs> when I first saw Menzi, obviously, like most of us in the room, it was through the television screen. And I remember saying to myself, I'll be damned if I don't work with that man. I knew it was part of my legacy, law of attraction, speaking it into the universe. I spoke working with Menzi into the universe. And um, when I started at Generations, I was there for nine years and I worked with him for the eight, the eight years that I was there. And um, my character was uh, involved with a Kaya Modena character. And I kept on in my spirit just wondering, when is this Menzi thing going to happen? I mean, I had done uh, Soul City. I had paid Ayanda Ngubane. Hello. And I'm like, it's a sign, right? <laughs> when is this Menzi thing going to manifest? When is it going to happen? When am I going to realize my dream? And one day the producers called me to the room. They hardly ever did that. And they said to me, um, we are bringing in a character. And this character is going to shake generations. And not only that, he's going to turn in Dombi's life upside down. And I was like, yes! Great, fantastic. Who is it? They said, Menzin Kubani. I almost fainted. Because that was it. That was it. Manifestation happening right there in front of my eyes. And Menzi joined the production, and the producers were right. He did not only transcend and transform the industry with that character. Yes, he had many, but Spusiso had depth. Spusiso had character. Spusiso was a fighter. And there I was, working with Menzi. And yeah, they were right. He did turn Ndombi's life upside down. Because Ndombi's life on that screen was never the same again. And out of the eight years that I've worked with Menzi, there's eight lessons that I'm going to highlight. Definitely not eight things that I've learned from him, but eight lessons that I've learned. Talent. I thought I knew talent. I had seen him on screen, yes. I had seen other actors and actresses, yes. And I've measured their level of their talent, yes. Until I was one-on-one -on -one with Menzi Ngubani. You know, there's a scripture in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, where it says, um, a master 
left his servants because he was traveling and he left them with talents. He gave the one servant five talents according to his capabilities. He gave the other one two talents according to his capabilities. And he gave the one one talent according to his capabilities. And as soon as the master left, the one servant went and traded five of his talents and he gained five more. So he ended up with ten. And the other one traded his two, ended up with four. The one went and dug a ditch and hid his master's money. Now, talents at the time were measured in pounds. So it means that the one servant understood why he was there and why he was called. And that was Menzi. He used up all his talents. I actually even feel that we hadn't, hadn't seen anything yet. That man was talent personified. I mean, if we were to go back into that time and measure his talents according to pounds, Menzi died a wealthy man. And we can't take that away from him. And I would like to urge all these young actors, thespians, take a book, take, take a page, take a, one page out of Menzi's book. You'll go far. Professionalism. <laughs> it is described as practicing of an activity by a professional, not an amateur. I know it sounds pretty much like talent, right? But it's not. You can be talented, but you can be lazy. You can be talented, but you cannot show up. You can be talented and not make an effort at all. You can be talented and show, not only show up on time, but not show up at all. Menzi was a professional. No one was as professional as Menzi Ngubani on any set. Generations is not the only set that I worked with him. But he walked with that professionalism pride. I remember <laughs> during those days, um, I was young, I mean, there was a club called Kilimanjaro, um, and it was the last night. They were shutting it down. I was like, ah, this is my favorite spot. I'm going to go. Went to Kilimanjaro. Must have left the club at 5 a.m. Don't judge, guys. It was a long time ago. I left the club at 5 a.m., and I had to decide, do I go home, freshen up, and go to work, or do I go straight to work? I was like, nah, just go straight to work. Call time was 7 a.m. Went to work, got into my changing room, went to wardrobe as they, they earlier, and they gave me anything that a wild girl would need. Freshened up, walked into my changing room, and I thought, you know, I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to wake up for that 7 o'clock a.m. call time. I'm going to set an alarm. Then I hear shuffling and mumbling in the room next door to me. I'm like, but this is Menzi's room. So I look around for a weapon. I'm like, what? What can I find? I find an umbrella. And then I grab it and I go to war. I bang on men's door. Boom, 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 boom. Who's there? Get out with your hands up. I heard giggling before he could even open the door. He opened the door and he said to me, Makuma, Belegas, what are you doing? What are you going to do with that umbrella? The point I'm trying to make is that I was at work at half past five. Menzi was there at five o'clock, while I was leaving that club, Menzi was at work, showing up. And you must understand that the guy's call time was always half an hour later. We were called early because of the makeup and stuff and hair, but Menzi was there. And I remember walking away feeling embarrassed. I'm like, wow, there I was leaving Club Kilimanjaro. And here's a guy showing up earlier than most. And that was not a one occur once occurrence, once off occurrence. Menzi was there consistently, first person to arrive, last person to leave. And that's what I learned, professionalism, generosity. I learned to be generous because of Menzi. I'm a Sagittarius, I should know about generosity. But Menzi's generosity was of a different kind. He was generous in spirit. That presence. That presence. I'm sure we all felt it. 
We all saw it. We all heard it. That's Menzi Ngubani, strong in presence, and will make his presence felt. Generosity. It was my first day in Generations. I had a scene with one of the characters. Menzi was going to join us halfway through the scene. Multicam. The cameras were focusing on, 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 on me, on the other character. I fed. We call it feeding. Present. Being there. Showing up. Then it was the other person's turn to feed me. And they didn't. They were looking at their nails. They were brushing their hair. And I still delivered those lines. And I remember walking out of that scene, Menzi grabbed me and said, Sonia, you, you, my dear, are going to go far. You remind me of me. Doesn't matter if you are there in the scene with me or not. I will be there and I will deliver what I'm supposed to deliver. There was a scene that we also shot and... Um, Spusiso had left Ndombi, and I say he left, quote-unquote, because <laughs> he didn't divorce Ndombi. He left Ndombi. We all know that was going to be temporary, right? He left Ndombi for Karabo. And they bumped into each other in the lift, Ndombi and Spusiso. And Spusiso was supposed to say, Makuma Logahle. Ndombi, with pride, was supposed to say, I'm fantastic. But I decided to give it a switch a bit. And... I, I remember losing my words in that scene. And the director thought I had forgotten my lines. And the director was reminding me of what I needed to say. And I remember Mendy and I said it at the same time. We looked up in the director's box and we both said, she's acting! Generosity. If you needed time to breathe, Menzi would give you that time to breathe. If you needed time to remember your lines, Menzi will buy you that time to remember your lines. That is the man that we worked with. Keeping to oneself, that's another lesson. Menzi would go into his changing room, get his script, learn his lines, and remain there. We had a green room. We had a tendency to go out there, hang out, pool table, warana here and there, hang out. And I remember one day he walked into the green room, opened his locker, took his script. Somebody said, I think it was Tabiso, Mukheti. He said, big guy, do you want to join us? Menzi said, nah. Who's going to be representing you all on screen if I'm here with you all playing games? Remembering why you are there. Remembering why you are hired at a job. Remembering who are you and what you need to be on screen. That's another thing I learned from Menzi. Fanatical. <laughs> Menzi was fanatical. I let it be a weekend. There's a derby. Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs are playing. Lo and behold, Kaiser Chiefs loses. <laughs> Menzi will walk in from the Henley entrance. It's about 50 meters long. He would walk in with his pirates regalia, with his flag, and he'll be screaming down the passage, Baga Juju. And it would be like that the whole day, scene after scene. We will be celebrating Amapaga Paga. Come the next day, Menzi shows up, forgotten all about that. Mauti Paga Juju, ay. Says Luli Lelab. Spirituality. I remember when I saw the switch. You know, there was enough spirituality, there was enough talent, there was enough, there was enough everything in Menzi. And he was not shy to display all his compartments. Everything he was about. He would preach to me. Nobody knew the Bible like Menzi Nguvani did. Menzi would minister to us, to me. And I remember thinking, wow. Wow. If I'm going to take anything away, out of everything that I have taken, is to champion and be a ninja for Jesus, like Menzi was. Youthfulness. <laughs> ah, that spirit of youthfulness that he exuded every day. 
He was youthful. He was, he was everything you would think a grown man should not be. And he was not shy about it. Last lesson, optimism. When I left Generations, I told my agent, and she said to me, have you told your husband that you're leaving Generations? Remember getting up immediately, I went into Menzi's door, I banged on the door. He opened the door, he was like, what? Because he could sense that there was something serious that I needed to discuss with him. And I said, I'm leaving. You know, somebody else would have talked me down. Menzi looked at me in the eyes and said, Belegas, hambagas, ungas wako. Like I said, I've learned many lessons from Menzi, but those are the ones that stand up the most during that eight years that I worked with him. Let's remember him. Siabong, Somash, Nguvan, Ogwa Kesare, Uwele Go Kesare. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mbele. Jumela Mbaholo. Kalina kena sihu metato malamu. I think firstly I'd like to thank the church, the organizers, and everyone who's really put the effort for today so that we can remember Pramenzi. Um, I think for me, the biggest person that I want to thank is his wife for being the most supportive wife. I think any husband wishes that they had a wife like Uausigi. You know, a woman that will carry you through health and sickness and happy times because not many will ever get to really enjoy the gratitude and the love that I think Upra Menzi had received from his wife and his family. More than saying goodbye, I think it's more than also just also saying that until we see you again. Um, from us as an industry, from us that got to know him, I think it is important as Everyone that has come on stage that has indicated that Menzi was a very giving person, very spiritual person. Um, and for me, he mentored me through my journey as I came into the industry because my first day on Generation, and I remember I met him at the green room and he was sitting alone and then he saw me and it was my first day and he said to me, Uba Anu, and then what are you doing here? I said, Yazu Khotman, I'm looking for where I can get my scripts. And he said, listen, I've met a lot of young people like you and I've seen them come and go. And that this industry will either blind you or you also see where the opportunity is. And throughout that, those are the words that I took into my craft and how disciplined one should be because Menzi was always the first one on set. He read everybody's storylines. He knew who and what each and every character is doing. And outside of that, he was a family man. You know, you're always encouraged to say that get married, have a wife, settle down, don't be all over the show. And that's also another principle that I took. So Sigi, thank you very much for welcoming me in your family um, and allowing Upra Menzi also to share himself with not only us, I think the Generations cast, the Isibaya cast, the Izo Izo cast and many other productions that Menzi got to touch and be part of. And for me, this is a very, very sad day. But at the very same time, we understand that the will not go into deaf ears. We live in an industry that is a very painful industry. It doesn't regard actors, doesn't see what we do. You give so much of yourself and what do you have to show for it? Usually what you'll ever get is just people will celebrate you and say how great you are and then that's it. Nothing that you ever have performed in will ever give royalties to your family so that you can leave a legacy for your family. But Menzi Ngubane, as much as he even fought with us and stood with us from 2013, 2014, he still to this day believed that the industry itself will change and will be very giving and will build families because it is important that if you've given yourself and your children are watching you 20 years from now, they should benefit from the work that you've given because you're spending 12 hours on set. You don't even have time with your family in a mall because people want pictures from you. You can't even have time with your wife. You have no privacy. So this industry, as much as you give so much to it, it also takes so much. And a lot of times it just leaves you so bitter. 
it leaves many better. I don't know how many artists have to die poor for this government to realize that things have to change. Enough is enough. Every single time that one of us passes away, it's like it's a grant. What is it that we can do? We force others to become business people and just individuals that just love this industry and all they want to do is to perform. But this industry will force you into different corners. Maybe my words will be remembered, maybe not. And if ever, please remember his words at the market theater. Please find that clip when a man, a grown man, a father, a husband was crying and asking for change. And who cared to listen? Probably we'll all go back to our families. We'll forget about what happened here today. Probably, I don't know. So for me, I think I just want to say again, young actors that are coming into this industry, discipline, focus, love. We celebrate you, Pramenzi. We thank you for what you've given to us. You never cheated us in every set that you've ever been in. You always gave your best. But the one thing that you did was you gave love to your family. Prawambovu, Armu Fitlen Sintlego Lady Smith. Um, and I hope that all of us will walk out of here today with a different mindset and a different approach that Monday to Friday, actors are on screen. This man was on our screen every single day. Let us not forget him. Let this not be the last memoriam of women in Kupane. We are here to celebrate an amazing life that has lived and had, he has run his race very well. And I would like us all to just, maybe if you can, just celebrate with us as we sing this next song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
força, 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 força. Vai!
his word. We are told you, King. We are told you, Lord. We are told you, Messiah. We are told you, Jehovah. We are told you, Great I Am. We are told you, Lord. I get conjecture. A big power pop is for you. Men's in Epsilon, a thespian, a friend, and a brother. Uh, I've worked with men's in Guizo, Guizo. Amazing, and it's so sad that not so long ago I sent you Menzi, a clip here. He's, he's we're doing a scene where he was drunk and he was reading, and Javas got irritated. And I sent it to him, and then I said, Yes, for when we were young, he could, used to call me Fuso. Then he responded, He said, Fuso, uh, yeah, it was great, keep well, my friend. And uh, I didn't know which, that was the last time when I know Menzi is a child. It's an amazing journey. You've run the race. We don't know. You know, sometimes it, it, it pains me because when I was doing it the river, you know, I, I, I was calling women. And I called him even before. I said, I'm going to play this character of uh, a guy who has uh, uh, kidney problems. And he gave me everything. Like, he gave me all the notes. Do you swear? Do you do this? You know, and all that. And I constantly called him, even when I was rehearsing. And, it's, and he even said to me, I think they've chosen the right person to play this character. I know you'll represent me well, my friend. Before go rest, uh, yes, but not, you don't understand the pains that we're going through. I must when I rest. My journey with knowing Ungubs, Menang Mas Ungubs, um, started in 1996 when I was a very young boy had not been in this industry yet I think he was still doing generations at that time the first time um, 98 I started with generations but and I can safely say Ungubs everything I know in this industry I learned it from Ungubs two people no actually three Temba Ndaba Sophie Ndaba and I think it's Sophie Dichaba now, and Ungubs. Those were my mentors. Those are the people I learned everything that I know in this industry from. Ungubs was a brother to me. Ungubs was a mentor to me. Ungubs was a teacher to me. Um, yeah, I'm now makama maning because ukuluma jikoni so slashegele. And among it is like Lego and Kulumang, a South Africa young and Kulumang, and my friends, and Goops and Kulumang Ati, among and Bangoops and Kulumang of Figure and everybody else, we make us on the land on Goops. So, from word of mouth, personally from me, Uting and Sabong Akuman, and the word of mouth family, I want to say condolences. Gubangova, no move, or so much. It is so hard for me, because when I first worked with women, it was on Yizo Yizo. He was a young man then, full of life, laughter, he would joke so much and he would crack us all. Yeah, it is difficult now to talk about him in past tense. And so in my memories, I would like to remain with that Menzi that is full of life. That is the memory I remember about him. May his family be comforted during this time and most of all they must just know he was a very humble man. Magnificent, a big man, yet humble. Will forever miss him. May his soul rest in peace.
mangika nyango si mangika anye avantu bagubo negimi baguko zengosi bagutu mise Batule batitu Mangika Nyengosi mangika Anye Abantu Bagubone gimi Baguko Zengosi bagu tu mise Batu leva titu Wongi timangi kanye Gosi mangi kanye Aba, aba tu ba celebrate I don't talk much but I sing much so the gift I'm going to give to the family and friends and colleagues is of song Oh, yes, Lord, 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 Lord,
masambe Oh, ma tocha masambe ni Kayo Yesu Oh, Yesu litwala Oh, Yesu litwala But he was the kind of star he was a giver, not a taker. Ask anyone who's ever performed a scene with him. He was a giver, not a taker. Umfoetu had no half measures. There was no gray area with Menzi. He was never half in. He was always in. 100%, 150%. That was means in Guban. When I first met him, Watching me not 
What I wagged it again, or tell it and bag it when. Umbovuelo. My husband was asking me what I will miss the most about him. I sing it again. I am going to talk about it. I am going to talk about it. I am going to talk about it. Umenzu besuga a studio about three four kilometers. Se pubesi ni as maseko tamasi na kate tatu tu kona ngi tin kona mvu tu afiga ngene with a big smile. Ati ngizego na ngani ya gwe tu mbov so mahash no maf mi alose ngizego na nzombani gitangzokbo na nzeli lognegi bengzoti jembov. I get home to bang and this and young woman's getting for two. By young song eleven and Bella Mang, I tip for my manga, Nanda Banwen. No man named King, I beset it in and Ganya way to in a Ganya way to in at that way to Cesaro Maco Sint in a Zalo and a Maguay. Gosson why he cow he like a nil? I'm going to introduce some colleagues, previous employers, people that worked with him in the industry. But because we are running out of time, we need to be time sensitive. I just want to reiterate that we are giving our speakers three minutes each. And also, just to be sensitive to the family, the family is going back to KZ10 today. And so, we are under time pressure because the family has to leave for KZ10 today. I'm going to introduce you in this order. And what will happen is that I will just announce all of you. The speaker will come on and speak, step off, and then we'll just have a chorus to introduce the next speaker. Kanjalo, kanjalo, kanjalo. So, angizu buya, angizu nbiza. Gawan, gawan. Please prepare yourselves. My executive producer, Onisibaya, Desre Makraf, we call her Mama D, the tribe queen. Desiree, I want to thank you because many people don't know that Menzi was supposed to be on the show for one year. And you extended that to four years. Menzi left heartbroken. But in that man, Kuluma, and I was it that way to Musa Pilua, Zupefmula, Zutikono, Sangagwens. After Des, Abdul Koza, please come up. Abdul played his son on Isibaya on all the years that we're together, and they made magic together. And I also know that this is extremely hard for him. And then we'll have Uwes Geno, who was his manager slash agent, also come up to share a few words. And then after him, Nitela Ubaba with David, Makubie, who's a representative from the SABC, to also come and share. And then, Sobesa Zivala Ngubaba, with Patrick Shai, he says, Oshera Nae Ngopoti. Over to you. Hello, good afternoon. Um, Menzi, we know that you're here with us today. Um, we can feel you. And I know that you are here checking that we give you a wonderful send-off because you really love the sense of occasion. You like things to be done right. And I want to thank the organizers here today because I think that Menzi is pleased. 
That was how you were as an actor. Attention to detail was really important to you. Your wardrobe, your props, your preparation. You believed they were all important to the character that you were going to create, to the character that you would bring to life. In the pre-production phase, Menzi was always there, trying to find that character, that thing that would make that person special, that would bring them to life in a way that no other had been. And boy, could Menzi do that. Larger than life. Every one of the characters that he has created, we remember so well. I've known you for almost 30 years. I've had an honor and a blessing to be working with you on so many projects. And most recently, Isibaya. I remember it like yesterday when we brought the Nguenya family together. Menzi was so excited and he really loved this character of Judas and Gwenya so much. He had a gold necklace made with a crocodile on it. He was the patriarch of his family in every way, um, on the set and on screen. You loved your on-screen family. I remember how he nurtured Linda, who played his daughter. She was a first-time actress, new. Um, he was so kind and gentle and generous in his spirit with her, protective. Menzi and Abdul, what an incredible father-son duo. What a tough and complex relationship that they brought to life on the screen. A relationship that so many of us understand, that complexity between fathers and sons about what defines manhood. And Menzi was a man in absolutely every possible way, and yet never scared to cry, to weep, to hold his son. And I often remember seeing him on those scenes where there was so much battle between him and his son, and yet he would be able to pull him into an embrace, and you could feel Menzi's love in those embraces. And then his on-screen wife, Tuli, Judas and Beauty, the ride and die couple. It was a couple we all wanted to be. That love that they shared, they could battle like crazy and then find their way back together again. And, and in some ways, I really think that that was who Menzi really was in all his relationships with people. He didn't mind getting into battle with you, but love was always at the center of those battles. You loved your on-screen family fiercely. The Nguenyas grew. And he welcomed them in, Vavavum, Dam Dam, Jerry, all of them part of this knit. And I know that the Isibaya crew used to be so excited when it was in Gwenya days because we knew we were going to have a lot of fun on set. And that even if we knew the script and we knew what was happening in the story, we would always be surprised. Because somehow Menzi would get together with his group of actors and they would work things out together and they would surprise us. You kept things tight always rehearsing and bringing magic to absolutely every scene. And I know that the love that you brought into that family on screen reflected the love that you had at home. How much you loved your real family, Siki and daughters. You made him so happy. Um, Angus and I were talking this morning and remembering that when Menzi started on Isibaya, he told us that he had been through a very dark patch in his life, but that he was so happy. He had found somebody and he had a, a, a family and he was so happy in the place that he was. And it was beautiful to see him in that place, to have come out of the dark place that he had been in after having been so sick. Um, and been so vulnerable for such a long time. And when we took Menzi on to Isibaya, we knew that it was a risk. We knew that he was, had been ill and it was okay because he had to act. He had to be on screen. He had to put that magic out there. He couldn't sit with it inside him. There was an irony to Menzi because even though he was so organized and prepared all the time, he was also, I think his greatest skill was how he could improvise on the day, how he could bring magic to one small scene in the moment. And I think what really Menzi taught me, and 
and I hope taught many other actors, is that preparation is the road to great improvisation. He was always prepared, even though it looked like it came naturally and in the moment. He had an amazing skill. He could find humor in the darkest moments in a scene. It was his genius. Um, he could move from lovable and funny with that beautiful laugh into something almost terrifying in a moment, in a beat. And it never felt unusual, it never felt odd, it never felt wrong. It was there inside him. And then he could make us laugh. Anger said to me today that he thinks that Menzi is one of the coolest people he ever met, probably the coolest person in South Africa. He was like what Jack Nicholson is to the Americans, Menzi and Gubani is to us in South Africa. He just had this aura about him when he entered a room or a space, as many people have spoken about before. We at BOM are really grateful to have been part of his life and to have been able to call him family. Our history is deep. 20 years ago, we did years or years or two together. And I remember that when Menzi came for the audition, there was just absolutely no question in our mind that he was the right person for the role. He was perfect. And in fact, Angus um, used to go on to set on the days that Menzi was on call simply to watch him perform because it was such a joy to see him take this very complex, dark character and bring it to life. And it was an important story. It was a story about the seductiveness of teachers um, and the vulnerability of students and to understand how students would fall for teachers. And somehow he just brought this character to life in a way that showed all the shades of, um, of Eliot. We believed that Menzi would be a great anchor for a daily show. And when we started to develop Zone 14, Menzi was at the center of it. We shot a pilot in Alex and Menzi was at the heart of the show. Sadly, um, SABC uh, took very long to commission us. And in the meantime, generations had discovered and offered Menzi a role and of course he was there for many years and we were very sad to lose him as part of the Bomb family, but we were also so happy for him. Happy that he had a good job, happy that he had um, a good salary and happy that South Africa was going to experience him every day on television um, and create this character that all of us remember and love. And so finally, when he did leave Generations, we were excited about the possibility of working together again. And then came Judas and Gwenya. And we're so grateful to almost a thousand episodes of entertainment that he shared with us on Isibaya, that he rejuvenated our show, that he brought this beautiful family together and created this incredible character. I remember how hard it was for me to meet with him and tell him on the day when we decided that we were going to end um, the story for Judas and Gwenya. There were lots of rumors about that it had something to do with Menzi, not at all. We had taken this character to so many places that Menzi went to so willingly and with such hunger and appetite and strength that we felt that we couldn't take the character any further. It was our failing as writers, because wherever we went, Menzi would have gone and he would have brought magic to that role. But there we were sitting in my little boardroom and my stomach was hot, you know, just hard at the thought of having to share this with Menzi. And um, it was agonizing to say it and he kept quiet for a moment and swallowed and he didn't say anything back. And then he nodded and he said, well, if it's right for story, then that's what we have to do. And we both cried for a while in that room together. In fact, the Nguenyas, losing the Nguenyas was very hard. Um, characters become part of our lives as producers and writers too. My heart ached as it does now. But then he smiled and he said, well, we better give Judas and Gwenya, a really great send-off. <laughs> and we tried really hard to provide the platform in the scripts for him. 
And boy, did Menzi and Gubani come out and show us just what an incredible actor he was. It didn't matter what we threw in that climax to the end of Judas and Gwenya, he took that role and he gave it, gave it absolutely everything. And little did we know that it would be the last big on-screen moments that we would have with Menzi. And I'm so grateful that we gave him the platform to just show everybody how magnificent he really was. He was a consummate professional and an incredibly beautiful human being. And I want to agree with what Tato said earlier. Every day when you see Menzi on your screens going forward, ask yourself, where are the royalties going? It's not right. This has to change. Menzi started calling me Mama D. I never had that name before, and I don't know why he gave it to me, because actually we're very similar age, so I don't know, Menzi, what were you saying? Um, but anyway, I like the name. And I'll never erase his messages from my phone, always filled with warmth, a little flower or a little heart, and always starting off with Mama D. So from Mama D and Bomb, we want to send our love to your family, and to you, and you will always be part of our hearts and our family. Thank you. Jesu litwa la la paga ate age komuni so zabiko. Oh, thank you, Lord. Jesus, Okay, now I know what the actors are complaining about when they say sound. I kind of get it now. Sambunan? 
Um, I met Menzi eight years ago. I was introduced to Menzi by the great Munin Lee. Admittedly, I, I, I didn't really like Menzi, mainly because all of his characters that he played like, made me so angry. I was so mad. But I then met the man, the father, the husband, the artist. My last conversation with Menzi was a tearful one. I urged him to make peace with death, make peace with this day that we all woke up to come and attend. To Mrs. Menzi, as I affectionately call her, I've said to her, say no more because you've done enough. You've carried a cross that none of us could bear. So I'm going to speak about what I know for sure, because I think a lot of good things are being said, and that's great. But I think the last two years with COVID and the realities of our lives, the realities of artists, collectively, producers, writers, actors, directors, cinematographers, gaffers. Menzi loved his work. He was a slave for his work. He was a slave for his art. And the most heartbreaking thing, like a slave, most artists die poor. And how many artists do we know have died poor? And yet, we see them on our screens. So, if Menzi and Munin taught me anything, they've taught me to fight. They've taught me to stand up for something that I believe in and an industry that I love. And sometimes speaking up could cost you a contract. But at least everyone knows what you want. And if I could speak for Menzi as his representative, he would want change. If, if the president's watching this, if he's listening to this, I dare you to sit down with me and have a conversation. Have a conversation about an industry a lot of people love, an industry that is somewhat in danger because I stand today in front of all of you as an agent, a manager, and I've got many prideful moments. I'm proud most of the time, but other times I'm not. I'm not proud when I'm behind an artist that enriches thousands and millions of other lives, and yet they leave our earth very poor. Those are the things that needs to change. And I think Menzi's death is not in vain. From Mary Twala to Menzi and Kumbana, I think their death should be the beginning of something new, a start, a reminder that we have to stop. We have to respect this industry and we have to call the people responsible. It has to stop. And I would like that to be part of Menzi's memory. Thank you. Somat uzuiti ni pila uzuiti uzuiti ni pila ya upindu kuselo moya ukuselo moya moya somat uzuiti.
Sono un anno. Che non è lei la nonca. Ben zengi in guasu culo, mamma mia, ben... Gaga guasu che la guena ma... Gaga buono tu ne hai l'altro tu. Gaga, gaga tempa nge nge zengi. Gaga moshu mi tempi. Gaga so zam. Eh... Ngoba Felix Katas na so ben funa nge ugu shuti. Gila shere lo baba mina, eh... Obo ubaba kumina Ngogo msebe nzi Na ngogo mpila Ubabu ishi nchili mpilo ya Skalu kila ngana Ganga waza nga iche luzi Sizo baile nte sama yona Goba na mjenga wongu mtu Gimazele ukutu baba Kwa se wafi utuba lo kusebe nzanae. Eee. Enga gusho nje uti. Ngeshe msebe nzi. Benga azuti noma yipi nkenge nga sengwe nae. Gino baba. Enga mfone ele na utuwa ageke msebe nzi. Uyo fona ilu nse ele onki. Umunto njalo baba. Umunte nga azuti uti na semde nini. Ubekeze nza yonki nto. Anga enza. Kwa mdi nwaki. Nga nguti njinati. Uwa zilu uskutaza wakulu. Mina ngase nkivapile kwe ektinga. Nfunu nkulisa. Nga buyela umsebe nzwa muba firefighter. Nga uba nga wini class 8. Nga sebe nza kwa hamba kwa mba watula. Nga iyegi ektingi. So. Ukalu buya kwa mkubo buya. Nge pom. Mama tie nchelu tuzo nfa. Kwi the road. Kwa ba wakona kubuya wa mdo. Nga rizai na kwe spidi. Ngo ba ngiti ngizo zama nga kulu nga kala. Kwa ti mpilo ya mishiji nga kulu nga kala nga baba nga ba. Ubaba ube street mina. Ube street mina njengu mundu. Abe mzala. Benga fungu tuya nzala nga njela be street nga ya uti. Nghez nga nisipense ozo uti. Mese uskatu wansu msewe nzwa mga wende sisa. Wabu bekeze, eti manga begu kutu wena. Uso figu kila lindo tena ya mi. Fanele wazo tuzo kila lindo tena ya mi. Kakoko onge. Inga ako nsebe nzi ganga haka. Benga nali temba na mangu ya West Bill Pad. Unku za zenga lende luti. Umsebe nzi sikuwa zugwenza na ye. Uze wangu inisi safta. Ewa zilu gungi ya lelo temba. Enga lito lagi ena mshaka kalu kila ngana Sazo uti sozo sevenzu nyako oto Washo wati ayiko leondo Kuninge sazo wenza na Uyeno wagu usho logo futu wagu wenza Ubaba Ustande nga lente la Ebe singa hili ndele na atungo ba Ustande Ezifu ya azve lutu utando laki gomele sale na lo Ngea wazi futu logo uti ugu wenze kutina Njoko mdeni waka wanta sebe nze na abu. Kanyi no mdeni apile na abu. Gize nga tolo abu. Uba ipe sme ni mshatu ni haki. Nga ati mpetu kusa ni kontrakti yami. Se nga understand uti ngebe nkila la inga nega chute as ngwenye. Ovu chute alo yenu babu nkubana. Nga amba nga wenzi tatu ya mawu ingze kolo. Nga ba ngiti le iroli yami. E nga soze nga ikoli, lafuta nga soze nga ikoli. Ngoba na yang soze nga ikoli. E nga wazi yugu, tiso nga kisumu nje nuo ngwenye. Inde se nze sa wazi ukwina nga shenga sa yaki ngoba. Usnigi leo instruction nyo guti. Njo ngoba nga hamba mina. Mfuna nsale, ningi represent. Wongu mtu, gisho tu askaze shela ni si ama individuals. So nge be slowly approval ya baba. Nje nge family yaki. Em representa ya screening. Ngo ba ui lo umu ndu loyo. O nga tu ufisa uktole approval yaki. Nje nga manji nge mla angbo nguti. Angbo nguti nfanele lendawe. Yo kulu manga umu ndu mkulu. Nga ngo ba abumensu ngubani. 
Gobanaminde Nan so much. Yawa, yawa, oh, yawa, yawa, lempe, yawa, yawa, lempe, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first and foremost, uh, let me acknowledge uh, the Ngubani family, um, Deputy Minister, um, and let me also acknowledge the friends of Menzi Ngubani who are present here today, and the colleagues. And as in our industry, um, there's a fine line in many cases between being a colleague and a friend. Half, you know, you'll find you, you are both. Um, and the organizers of, of the memorial service for including us as well. Um, I would like to come here to pay respects, the final respects um, for Menzi and to Menzi um, today on behalf of the SABC television but also on behalf of SABC. A lot has been said, uh, we are reminded about time, I'm not gonna get into too much, but safe to say that we all know the role that Menzi has played. In the country, we all know that he gave of himself. And thank you to the family. Thank you for allowing him, as an artist, the craftsman he was, and everyone has spoken about the talent and we've seen the talent, we know that he was a true thespian. As an industry, we've lost. I'd just like to say that it's not just the family, of course, that has lost, but we have lost a gem. You can see from South Africans on social media, everyone is celebrating Menzi's life. We all have lost. I remember on a personal level, when before I even joined the industry, or even the SABC. Menzi is one of those actors that I would look up to. Those are the actors that we used to watch on our screen. And one day wish that we would also be on, our screen, on that screen and do exactly what he's doing. 
he inspired a lot. He inspires the young boy from Mnambiti or a young boy from Limpopo somewhere who also looks at him and say, one day I can also achieve it. So it's for that reason that I say we have lost, we have lost as an industry. And yes, it almost feels like he had so many characters left in him. But as we pray, we say, And so, let us allow the Lord to also allow for his way. Um, and also accept that he really played a strong role, Menzin Kubani. Um, he ran his race. So condolences to the family. Um, and also, Menzi, let his soul rest in peace, everlasting peace. And lastly, once again, to say thank you for allowing him to grace our screens. Thank you as a family for allowing us to enjoy and what we need to be doing, really, when it comes to Menzin Gubani, as we, have, we are doing today, is celebrating his life. Let us celebrate, and we will also continue celebrating on our screens, and we will remember Menzin Gubani for the great work that he did. Thank you. E Itembalam Itembala Don you got you got Good afternoon. Uh, I'm one person who never runs out of words. Marafandak kilokile, as we would speak in the industry. Um, <clears throat> there's a song that I sang Limenzi Riluko Ashes. We sang it once. Uh, on our way, kilometer but uh, it now has profound meaning to me. And and when I when we sang the song, he would love our M Khalawe. Was told our place in Dolis. Was silly when M Khalawe in Daba And the song goes thus. I. Agufu mi ma ni tule, ay agufu mi ma ni tule, ay agufu mi ma ni tule, ay agufu mi ma ni tule. And that, you know, this song, I get to sing here. I can prada or my bra, and this song came. And as I said, it had a profound meaning. Because he also went on to say, Mkala bikia sika. Maru mzo kuluma, bang chwala gabila bantu. Mzo bachela. Whenever there was something engeko aligned on set, the other side, the Menzi, the activist, the person who wanted things to be done right, he would say, And he never kept quiet. Then we forget what he said when he stood on that podium during that uh, infamous press conference 
The one thing that stands out for me was when he said, we are lazy kiniso. And he punctuated everything that he said with, we are lazy kiniso. And he went on to say, lazy kiniso, linja, angai gul fahama spices. It's all too wonderful that we speak of Menzi as this man who had a wonderful smile on set, and trust me, I've experienced that. But I want to say now, had it not been of you, Siswam Sigi, Menzi would not have been able to smile on set. Had you not been the person to whom Menzi could run to with all the dynamics, the challenges, that he faced with his health, with the industry issues. Had you not been that type and character of a woman, Menzi would not have been the Menzi that we speak of fondly today. So I want you to reside in that comfort that you contributed immensely to the Menzi that you gave to the industry. To his wonderful kids, who I know he loved them. He loved his family. I want to say, the way in Zaleno Menzi in a corner, you kept the young boy in Menzi alive. Hence, he continued to play when he was on set. Great as an actor who never ceases to be a child. For once an actor grows, they stop playing. Menzi remained a child. And to Leonard Ingositza Menzi, thank you for keeping that child in Menzi. Working no Menzi. Yeah, we can go back to Bo Izo Izo. Um, those were our entry points. But I was privileged for the Kispanel Menzi, go ashes to ashes. Yes. Tezru writer, he was a consummate actor. I think he was far more than just an actor. He created life. A character, it's okay. And when we met, the uh, set, it's a go ashes to ashes. Nadi see enough. So I then said, no, when Menzi arrived, he will share the dressing room with me. And indeed, that is what happened. Um, <clears throat> and Menzi would arrive, um, can we prep for this scene? Menzi would even make a note of where the comma is in his delivery. That is how good the man was. That character laughed. <laughs> I don't know, he's the only one who could do that. And that smile that, that, that he would, I literally, I, when behind the smile, it means danger. Write a comma, write a space where he says, Nzo lachala. That is how Umenzi prepared. And he would ask also a question to say, in the story world, where does this line come in? I want to parallel the line, but the line doesn't speak to the character that I am about to play. Then we find a way, and he would find a way of saying Zosho Ganchi. That's the control, immense control he had over the character that he was playing. He made sure that each and every line, a comma, an exclamation mark, a laughter, added to the character narrative. When I did the campaign as one of the pandemics that we had and that we are still having. It was 2017. I spoke to Menzi about it and he said, Mkhalab, I'm going to be an ambassador. And um, he came, we had a press conference. He spoke and the one thing that he said was, if only these boys could realize that Inyaupe Iabulala that is the Menzi that I know, who was not only in the arts, but in, this, in the, in the constructing, construction, your society. He did more than just what the script uh, 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 detailed. So his is a script that could never have been written. God gave him 
that script. No one could have lived the life Yamenzi or could have written the life Yamenzi. I'm going to close by saying, it is my hope and dream and wish that we recognize Menzi's contribution to the industry. What he got and a lot of things that he didn't get. Amongst which is the unification and the unionization of the industry. That we strive to achieve those things. And it does not only require the actors to do that. It requires the bigger giants in the industry, the producers, to come on board and make sure that this industry is unionized. It is not fair that we can continue to talk about actors, Habana, the social securities, that we don't afford medical aid. And yet we can speak so glowingly about the talents that they have. Let us commit to the things that Menzi died fighting for. Let us commit. Let us be united as one. We're not, going, we're not going to gain anything by saying this one, this one, and that one. It is now that we must respect Menzi and what he stood for and come together under his banner and say we are going to unite this country, this, this create an industry that takes care of its actors. Mama Des, I charge you to lead in the transformation of this sector. It is good that you guys continued to support Menzi. But it would be wonderful that one day when I'm gone or one of us is gone, you stand here and say, I made sure that they have social security. I made sure that they could go to a doctor and afford medical aid. That is my wish for all of us who are here. Let us forget yesterday. It was a good lesson yesterday. Let us take with us the lessons of yesterday to define our today so that tomorrow it's a better tomorrow for our children. We cannot continue to say the same thing again and again and again and again. Menzi's legacy must be the one that gives us the positive trajectory to change the terms of engagement in the industry. He could not be the actor that we say, when he got a call sheet to report to work three days or four days after Aile for operation. It cannot be. We cannot call him. It's the slave contracts that we have to address. I loved this man. He had the fight that I did not have. He had the unselfishness that none of us had. He battled the industry issues at that time while he was battling his health issues at that time. He was so unselfish. If God could give me one more day, I'd want to be the kind of a fighter that means he was. And I'd like you to come along. I thank you, Siswam, for having shared Umenzi Nati. I thank the family Yagangubani for having shared Umenzi Nati. I say to all South Africa, when the actor stands up to speak, they are not divas. I thank you.
Musical group and then one communications. As Zil was an ongoing Ningi, Grant is to new way, leadership here to Stunum, the new way to Ikaya, a Elastor Shatina, and then as a spawn would see the time Kuhamba, a Wabus Fisomwane, the family and one was very close with Baba Ungubane, and it's in a Sabafan Babungubane school in Ice and Buga. Uh, we are so inspired and we are so happy to see the corner and plant. So to you and I, Mrs. Nwane, uh, to pass her deepest condolences to the family. Uh, unfortunately, she, she couldn't come, but to me, let him know what represent and pass the message. So, Bazana Sosha, Njingo Meo, Dwa, Ebesi Sekrel. Tolu Sipa Petama Monitors, please. Thank you. When go see me when I ugu pila wa me ugu pila wa girl man you don't know la when I get when I we come by me when you go see me when I ugu pila wa me ugu pila wa girl man you don't know la when I get when I we come by me Oh, 
otherwise known as Azindini from Mubango. Um, it is a sad day in South Africa today as we remembering and mourning the passing of uh, my dear brother who put Menze Gubane, whom I've um, grown to respect in the fraternity and appreciate his art, if not work. Um, what I liked and what I would remember the most about him is um, how serious he took and understand the craft. I, I I found myself in you know situations that we had to interact several times, but there's one that is very prominent. I think we we're doing the Satmas in Deben and Uput Menzi was talking about his family and I then realized that the man has got a deep sense of family and he loves his family. Um, yes, I haven't met his family members, um, but I felt like I've known them through him. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say to the family, um, condolences and we, we feel your pain, we grieve with you. May the good Lord give you strength and courage to overcome the grief. 
and may his departed soul rest in eternal peace. Da. Demasiare, sana langa ndi kengi uwa famagi jemesa, also known as Jess from Mubango. We as Mubango and Word of Mouth Pictures family, rekota moiri sana batu amata ba mizi ngubani. Mizi ngubani was such a great icon. The Kumbra and the Chikwaru, and then she did a car, yeah, and she won a TV car generations. I'm not only inspired and go on our actor. So the Kuru Mutsimo Kabina Motawa Hawe, Baba Piman, and Gashin Shinga Chibi, and the Kuira Nabu. Bantabasha. I'm a message is Otando. Nogumkumbula umenzi are really unlimited and our peli. But Bengtanu Kizale and Jebantaba Sluguti is is definitely not on our side. And if the next couple of speakers can just try and help us out and just keep it all under three minutes, that would really, really be great. That was a beautiful performance. Next up, I'd like to call up an amazing woman. A phenomenal lady, a lady who, when I myself started out in the film and TV industry, um, a lady whose makeup hands I landed onto, Usisbongi, um, someone I call like a mother, you know, a young mother, <laughs> you know, in a way, um, an amazing lady. Usisbongi Mlodra is somebody who's been in this industry for a very long time and has seen many of us come and go. So I'd like to call her up next to come and share her message for Umenzi. And then she'll be followed up by the praise and worship team that will give us a song. And following that will be an AV from Uzong Kunu and Ukandi Makiti Misa. Thank you. Um, my Nomenzi is a story. We were dreamers. We were black, talented kids in the township who never even thought we would make it up to this far. We met at a, at a youth club, a Lokshini, where we used to dance, see Jaiva, Bega Tanduk Jaiva. And see, for us, there, some of us couldn't sing, but but most of us ended up a fuba. I ended up a fuba in market theatre. I learned my study shahi drama, speech and drama. But my career didn't take off. His take off first, and we met again as Scott's films. And we had a strange relationship. Every time we saw each other, we'd catch up for twenty years. And Umenzi to me. Sigi, your ukolesis, I know how much he loved you. Umenzi was such a, a gentleman. His perfume, guys, when he walked in the makeup room, um, wow, we as charmer every morning, speaking on six glasses, or nugget like perfume. And Umenzi, he had a gray beard. So I used to say, why men zunga yeg in chebe at a high angfun, angfun min, and it's handing it. You look very sexy when you have your great beard. And first day, I would go to the chemist in Tengi Kalasi Kalare. And then he was happier when his beard was black. But Ebez Tanda, Umenzi. Angazen Bonumuntu Ono Musa. You know, in the makeup room, we become mothers to everyone. No one cares about us. We just, we're just there. And. When I went into generations, it was quite weird in the makeup room. There was weird vibes. So after a while, Ngelin Langa Umenzi came. He sat just opposite where I sat. He said, Mpinch, but Kina, this is what you love the most. You always care about other people. No one ever cares about the makeup artist. No one. And we, we've become the mothers, the sisters. And 
Begupsungu, just to watch him, but he was brave, that man. Like Angazen Bonumuntu, a strong jungle lawyer. And then when he met to see, where's our introduce again? What I want to know, I was a Nati, we are shut to Nunzi, Maria Kumbula. He was like, Yabona Lobong is the one. Uzobona and Zokombisu would like work. So every day, Magaza as in his captain in the makeup room and showed me ukuthi yakubona ukudla kwakho ukuthi upheka kahle kanjani ngithi i know i react shy and ngiyazi ukuthi indoda ama uyiphekela iyajabula so siki ngiyabonga sisi when umenzi was at the lowest point you were there you cooked you made sure her diet was well taken care of abakangubani niqole ngiyazi ukuthi nivelelwe izinto ezimbi zilandelana I miss Umenzi. He was the motivator, the most loving, the only man that called me, Mam Lodwa. And I could feel it in my heart. Zulu He was a proud Zulu man. Thank you so much. about the passing of Obabumenzi. We are really saddened, not only as an industry, but also as the word of mouth pictures family. I remember growing up um, being so inspired, being so motivated by, by Obabumenzi. And, you know, I remember when I went to an art school and those were the people that were really inspiring and there were even references in our classes so it's really so sad for us to hear about his passing because even when i started working here and would bump into him in the corridors he was the friendliest warmest person anyone will tell you and now for now i mean i was starstruck for you know this big person that i grew up watching and now i'm here bumping into him go to corridors but he was so warm he was always willing to give advice always willing to have small talks and yeah we are really saddened by his passing so we will always remember his work and yeah, condolences to the Ngubani family. Kamala Mingo Zonke, Ngwagam Tulu Gilalu Imani Kosi, La Paya Gumbango, um, the Pambo Wayne, Jenga Majingi, Petro Kulu Tabuga, Ngema Yuglula, a Guga Baba Umenzi, Gubani, Gitinje, Kumdeni Wonke, Wagan Gubani, Onoma, Fosi, or the Lim Shopping, Kalam Dutuzege. Industry on Kaya Senzanzi, a Gitinje, Colani, a Incosi Pile, Incosi Tatile, Guzo Bangono, near Bangaku. Menzi, Mufunogo Shoguti, Gabong. I thank you for the beautiful soul that you are, because you continue to be a beautiful soul. Zizo Kumbul, for all the goodness that you brought. You were a talented actor. You are a kind person. Okvia Wanguli Industry, Ganga has a good thing or two little good things in the now. Nakulan Bugela. Little did I know, Guti, our paths will cross. And the privilege of voting in the now was so pivotal. A Kulin Guam as an actor. You were patient, you gave guidance, and you were always the consummate professional. Sizo Kumbul. As actors and as Abakuge. Rest in peace. I thank you for all that you are. Oh, man, Ziputwa, Miss Kokosan. This is how we used to call each other because way back at generations, I would come to Yungzognoma, you know, after watching of your scenes and be like you make this thing look so easy so from that day i called you Skoko, and you said right back at you and now we is Skoko. you know so that that nickname yes Koko sami started there and we reconnected again as my and there we got a chance to really talk talk about us talk about our journey in this industry You've always been a pure, genuine, genuine spirit, Putwami. I'm heartbroken that you're no longer with us, but if I believe it, 
to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. I pray that God opens his heavens and you're forever, forever in our hearts. We love you. Rest in peace, Mudwam. Okay. Ah, we as it is a mid from a cool, who's of valid is a woman's woman. Um, I'll just say a couple of incidents that made me close to him and so and him so special to me. Uh, first, when I was an intern on Generations, this was way back 2006, I think, and everyone was, you know. Uh, looking at like this little girl who's running around here but when he arrived in generations he did not have that disrespect I used to talk to him about language correct him on his own language Zulu but we used to have such a nice camaraderie between it, it, the both of us and that I would never forget because I was nervous coming to a place that's full of stars and then the second time is when in generations they made me a head writer I was nervous as hell and you know writing for big names and you're a head writer they're looking up to you he came to my office and he said to me siswa i'm saying he has given us so when the story is pilayo he story is no janda his stories about the mama yama he stories on impala and that was so encouraging coming from him those things were very significant to me that he became so special and we connected till forever till now and i was doing my feature for him right now and he knows about it and he had a character in it and i'm just so sad that the f the future film is not short yet and he had a character i would have to look for someone and i know they will never feel his shoes so it will be someone who will be closer than that but they will never feel his shoes they will never be in groups they will never be what i wanted it's a always always love you and thank you and thank you for seeing me and thank you for respecting me just as i respected you love you so much jehovah rita Ritabile wena Jehovah Ritabile Ritabile wena Jehovah Ritabile wena Jehovah
Kulesi skatsa manje stembe yenu Jehovah. Kunendo puta beta ndugi shuguti. Aksi bona bonga batingo singo si abayo bona umbuso ezulu. Abanda bani mbata bangu tu. Upu to be humble. I beg to differ. But he was brutally honest. I can't be it and then get any so. I can so like he was since Kati Belin Zima. Lipinde lake. Ute mangabe who organized while a memorial gets into a umzalose, umzalam zalose. Angel Luguti in number Yabandu Baras by is about ten. Nothing it mean. Zalose Angnandaba Uguti, who comes and who doesn't. Whatever you do, Ungam Shuka Bash Uka Pashu Pumba, Simbiza no Pumba, Togos is Waka Ulika Malak, Tapashu Boat Driver Gamenzi, Abem Konsega Kuhl. Is there a Sigum Zalosem Zalosem, Mangabu Tapashe and Ekola? We pendulela wena, yen. Women's Benek and Isok Mandabatanda didn't matter what the title was. If he connected with you, why Benek and Isok when? Saying introduce her. Engs was Bassa Site in Lomden. Go bang Yatabang Utumundang Zombiza Kala. We also see him as part of the family. Gizotela, um, Mr. Zizigo, to a good son, the Lena Pambili, and Vara Long Gizotela, put him police, put him police, see Shube, Uyena, a home for a scone, Usisige, And then in Vawa Long, the Teluputi, put pony. So my ashumbo of waters and a pambili. It says Okulumela Mdini, Waranguban. Scorny couldn't end for Nugi Shogwen. He has his cat, says she. But I don't want for it to zone. Uzong visits among a bay, Ginga, you shall end away. I get Kumundo perfect. If you go less cutting, Allah, Uma, Wakshoneko, no Baba. I get Kumundo or perfect. But one thing I can attest to is that Menzi loved you. With all he was and with all he had. In Shelai Bugangayo, Conala, what we Thanksgiving corn and Gisele to the Wakutel Musukamogusu Supermanjin Wakopozel. That's how for it's Wakopoza, Wakopozel, and that's how for it's what young getting Gelosiam. Uponi has been leading the preparations. As we group la panas, si arrange ama arrangements um nwabo. Put Pony has been leading the preparations. Good test can be careful two days ago. It's upon noon for Nelly and about past eight. The same as we live in a bonty clerk and my doll. Nasan Kumbula Mazwa means a bear our shop mean a massagunzim. Nasikina so much. Can I'm 
Och bli sen sagal. And with that, so the loop puts is as in a pump. Angbonge kwe na matla mi ninge skatong ninge zaso na kotong sumile. Ngoma jambo ya zikuti. Ninge koko shelo la koko ta sumfaki. Amabomvu. Osoma ash. Azikote limshope. Omi alus. Unkoskazo mfuwe tu Sengi mbizu sbali ike manji Minage ngmazi pangbangi kane la pagu mbumfu Kota genzo kuluma nji ya mazo mabila matatu nje Ngo sbali Ngeazi mabumfu kuti lishone mini Kota wakiaba nige sebe kulumile nga pambi kwami Bashilo bati tutu ya mdeni Usually, mangi ne conversation ni namba lingi saba nengi. Ondo hombi bese bangani. I always ask, is it you or the 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 character in Kulumanai? Because most of the time, we longa ya zuku tumashuko. The first time ingi mbona manje saying usbali. Ngoba kuna character ingi azio la pa TV ni. Kuna character zimbili. Yoka lanje na, the character yotando. And attend a cool as a treatise. Could be a character, Gamenzi, the character of Isaiona Ungamla. Very violent, in a spam pagati, and the language you are calling your shugan. And I love that character because I was hoping to see that character in him, Mangimbona offset. Mangimbona offset, ow. Umfuetus body is the opposite vibe. But I must say that having met him, I met a real gentleman. Like many, I'm a boom for man in Gangsang and Nabo. I met a real gentleman. But I do want to say something just to add to Intibi Kulunyang of Yubabi Kulumalanga Pambil and getting him busy and get Kama and Yamazin. I hope Tato Sekonala uh, is one of the people I know. They are very, they are activists in the industry. And I hope there are some of the agencies and producers that are present because one of the issues that is not spoken about in the industry is exploitation. The second thing that is not spoken about in the industry, adding to Lentibi Kulunya Mumibabibe Konala, Uguti, there's a lack of solidarity in the industry. There's a lack of solidarity. Um, I'm not talking about human solidarity, and so on. I'm just talking about injustices that as individual you go through. There's a lack of solidarity. So the agents may decide to do whatever unfair to you. You'll die alone in a corner. There's no, no solidarity from the industry. And I'm mentioning Tato because when I was still very young, I'm very old now, when I was young, I used to say Kobo Tato, some of the demands in the industry, nothing is going to fall from heaven like manna. You must fight. And you can't, but you, must, you cannot fight as individuals. You've got to organize yourselves. The notion that there's a certain body, somebody, somewhere called government, and will deliver everything over a platter. It's not possible. Organize yourselves, get yourselves together, solidarize with one another, and fight. That's the only way to get out of the problem. 
And I'm raising this because I don't want us, every time we meet, we throw away the problem to whoever. Let's start with us, ourselves. Because I've seen a number of you, many of them have departed. How they suffer in a corner alone. And you realize that this injustice that this individual is facing is faced by many. Slave working hours, uh, unjust uh, contracts, which are very unfair, very long hours, which are not consummate with the payment or salaries that you get. That's why you don't get such as social security and so on. These are the things that the industry must come together. And Angisho Oguti, my humble umbomvu, Magbeku Mashuk, Ekamin Lagi. Part of the liquors that we must celebrate is that with his departure, we saw a change. Umdeni wangwe nya lamdeni wase TV. Kiutanda ga bingo balamde no se pubesin. Nein king is abotes besilwa. The Chabula Gabi Mangin born and Mela, no matter mean, and I'm Gelala. Go to a Kiokbalu Leki Legoti, Nina Mabonfu, Nina Basem Sing, Fneganazu Goti Aninetua, Kupsung, Go to Umfue Tulo Hambile, Fnegasam is some beg and Gelala in a sort. A person Kulumina Wege Boni, Ugoti. You sometimes give raw talent to these unpolished jewels from far areas such as Mnambiti. black and white TV, telephone because I keep cool. In real life, Nespam is a sub. In real life, I make a big man in real life. Got on Nigis Pam on set, I keep a lamet. In life, Balega in a car. Ganbonga again a logo. Got on it, take a man like Let's come together. We don't want to hear again. Ukuti Kune and King as corner in the industry. Nobody's going to resolve those problems. As we celebrate the legacy, Yom Fuetu, let's make sure that we come together as actors. Because our agencies and producers, they celebrate the fact that there is no solidarity among them ourselves and they exploit it. Kinina Bombovi, Tutu Zelekan. Tutu. Utando luga baba lunge golwante po lubanzi luchulile luyaze kaini po utando utando. was my son-in-law. 
tatazala umbuya umva xa umnikezela umnyana akuba maka hambe awugqukulo otyolwa awuhamba becala kwakhe nobubuthana kodwa zange nithande nguka wayezo ocelwa nqobe ema zothi lomntana namthiya nathi ngusikelelo kodwa nguku hamba nababumvu zagawula ndi wahoqa ke mnakani usuya kwezinye i-details umuntu ozifuna i-details ngaba kasishuba uza kwasaba kum and concern them palel funa nje ushimiyele zomncinci kuba iqesha seliqhatshwe yinja la and lanje ikho ngothathwa ngutuki ndizawuthi cherish every moment and every person in your life because you never know when it will be the last time you see that someone life is so fragile people especially during this time ya covid take nothing and no one for granted right who means was a fighter till the end of his life kufalupina ulamvile walakho ndabule Sanbona bazalwana Um kubanzinyana ke uma sizonika isikhathi sibe sifishane eh kodwa ke siyaunderstand ukuthi kunolunye uhlelo olukhona la ngo6 eh igama lami ke uboni sibongo ngowaka ngubane um Zokuluma kumfu yetu la bengi kile zokuluma tu ishis kati sana ngi a wakota ngi abo nugu tingeka kwa nzima ngo ba sna ma incident ama ningi tina na o esu zulego na kwa da gengi sabangu chumuntu chola kase itu bangu mukabela ngo ba la apana sobesi iko na asio kuluma nje kuzukshoni lang inde besi banga kuu na lenzi zoageti bego guti na glali chiefs ni pirate. Kosiam, ibingu fole la injala lo nasliwe, igoa na jelo kwa basic banga, jenfu na juu kala ngalo kwa basic banga, kando kutinge neglo kwa guonye, goba mina ngi ikos, maje injala lo na isliwe ge ikeza, gioswa ngai ge aya phone ge sege, giza inkuni ngasali ba mbuto ingi kuta ba fui ingo tumshupe kanga, giza mukumbula na ngabe phone, ngoba na ngabe phone na ube kala ngto po tuinguen. Asho zonke itagazelo zagiti. Atneka ete ngase ngi mkumbu za ngati azba fukone sinye sitagazelo. Efalele sisifage manje sasema bumvine sile kakulu. Esi tukube gange eno waga ngubane. Gange yobo waga bane. Sia kubega agesi shukuti gange yoba. Ngenu kusho wakela ngoba gesi live. Enda wene itizeni mtu fanela shonip. Indo nje ebe stumela naga kulu nga yole. Pati ngea kita luku ngusa mpagatu wa sa South Africa kutina azu kuti lomuto hambile kuhambe umuto be nomdeni. Kuhambe upoti, kuhambe umuto one family. Sikesa pila skatines nzima gabi la po sivusu wange nkri ingo kutua use shoni ilubafu. Kani ingi. Giza ngezi buzu mbuzu kuti kandi labantu aba mtanda ayu mfu etu. Bak chable la nugu tingeli ni langa ajulem sabin. Si awa nugu tingeli ni langa vele si misa nugu tio ajulem sabin. Kutoa jalo muzozo nje pata pata sektu se shonil. Kuna se kuni ge sinis chombe le so majo nugu ti kandi lento eskuli so ngai yokuwa ubuntu ipelele ipiti na bantu. Goba ezi wa ezi ni zizo lento. Isuswa iti na bantu bisuswa iti iti na bantu tu se shonil. Go one next day, no suit or looking to a hey, let's do again. I say, Gas booze and jumbozo, Jengish, and Lela Pansuti, lent it to a Ubuntu. Can't decision it. Uspad Jango Besuala Uzis, Kulumita Otto. Jenga Manja, Gazaz Namin King, and Umbers Cotter Linking and Pigginin Az. Got an egg and lessons in King Azeno, Nizm Mobe, Ninga now lent it to a Ubuntu. Go Ubuntu Buzo Kalak Nina as a Mike Taz. Ninga sheba ni nautoa, na kwenye bogo mnyu mute ni inkinga maseni zai choke ngaloko, because ni atanduwe zai choke, ni inkinga sababu ni abantu, as if wena 
lapho na usuwa kone kala ka unazinking. Na ati kangubane sinazinking. Na lapho na ukona futi nazinking. Awu kumdenunge nazinking. Kona goba nina abubuntu nino buni yunatayo nino otu eza maektaz. Ngege nwazu kuingoba impi. Ngege nwazu kupegana ni simo. So kutin nwazu kutin tonze niye pambilu. Uma ngabe nise no otu anje. Ngege nise nswani. So ingafisu kutinazu kutinjongo basi mela kutena ngabe kutulu mfu etu. Katino baba kapili ilega shikaya. Aba tuya zako na abo oneme nzele ipetei. Embonga. Embonga nkulu nkulu tu mkutinilu wa zawa ni mnyaga u 90. Wasu nkulu nkulu ya mtata futi nae. Nkulu mangetia nzege umkebelo kwa nzega nangu lisbili. So sa nkulu kuti umde nwaka ngubane unesimo eskelo nkulu nkulu ngoba. Ukulula njego mtuwa yetuwa mjenini. Kuba inking. Umasa kulula we sibili ike futi. Angazu uti simo leso. Unga milena kanjani nasu. Pati siya tandaza. Siya mngusu nkunu nkunu ngoba. Uyena iplani akili. Aga kumutuwe po wazuti. Kusoba na mawele. Kusoba na mawele. Azo hamba kotwa. Ahambe kanji nga lenjeno. Kunu nkunu yena ati. Aishela lento. Uma nga bebe figa le mshabini. Ukuti nga lulu sugu. Lango mshaka 20. Ni ukipa mawele ni nakangubane. Ni wabege nji nukengi. Nga fisi kuti. Ni umasa suga la. Ngoba kisazo kulunyo enku njenzo kumana. Kisazo banezi nte ningi. Ni kondu kuti. Umde ni going through. Isimo esi nzima. Une ngane lo mto shonile. Ni umakotu wake lo mto shonile. Uno mde ni lo mto shonile. Ni kifage je mkondu enji. Ni umanga beklalo. Ngoba ngiazi kia dhalo. Kwa ta subia siku buge njuguti ukilala kwetu. Akwa paza misi hini ya banyabantu. Isi mesu pegele na sosin zima kakulu. Akso ni simo esi lula. Akso na futi simo. Ngisho, ngisho. Ya wana joba ni kuluma njela. Sia nizwa. Kwa ta ngege kukutate. Isi mesi lapa emnambiti. Eskona. Eskona jenga manji. Umakoti na angula. Se kulunyiwe na mkla anje. Nenga pick up anji phone. Yenga phonela no mupu mutu. Uzo libambu kutu ingu. Kisa asu nesklani uzo pick up a futu kutu ingu. Afone no mupu mutu ingu. Afone no 12. Uzo libambu kutu ingu. Nangu mkubelo futu uzo libambu. Uyabona nge soto nangu msomblu. In reality. Iya vela ke. Sebe ya suga ke. Abantu be fame. Sebe ya suga abantu abatandu utumu. Seksa la yena. Numde nwaki. Umesa efone se tingane za majine. Gengebe sa abambi ingu. Gekchaela manji. Kerebe sa kulu manayi. Hausa isho nile mye nwa kuse hambili. Seko sali reality ige manji. So ke, gifuna nwa zuguti, siya kubongu ti nistutuzi. Kota de is a reality ya kona, esi zobi si pegana no mdeni ige manji. Esi pegana na, no mwako tu wake ngoge manji. Esi funa ge manji uguti ge, tina si ibane. Si yazba kona banyo futi, ya bazo, ya bazo ti, hey, yaz, si yasazi, si mas kona, umutu nanga say na yu mieni. Kuba isi mesi nzi maga kulesu. So onka spile luguti ngeli ilanga. Uma nga mkulu nkule start. Kwa suzo start ngeli ilanga. Kwa ti mdiene si she right. Na ati funu ngong jalo kwa wafi kebe kulu mabantu. Hai si amazu mbo vunga nwetu. Beba fone lo mama. Na apa jaba fazbam la papa bil basle lap. Hai kukanje no si swam. Kwa twa uma sang shone pante. Ngya chen. Bawo bai fiu. Aba yo kumbulu utu. E mbo vwe gubra wetu. Mbo besi sha na inda. Seng vala age. Makoti, siyabonga kakulu nito enzile kumfu etu. Iskatisbe enzima, tina besinyu wa siza lae kuli. Sibe enzima, iskati otule kusona ku no COVID. Umnaenga, ufunuge obonu mienu wako. Every day from Monday to Friday. Siyabonga kakulu nito enzile, nbe si ibo ona food. Enzi aga appreciate alo kusaya kwele utungunu kula kupa mali. Sasi ne WhatsApp krupi etu no mens. Saba ne WhatsApp krupi etu. Wat ne se kulu bafo. Wat mito spete la safone na nukwatuwa. Hey, mbonfu. Safuni phone. Sati phone ipi. Ngoba lea WhatsApp krupi etu. Nyayazi WhatsApp krupi ya matote. Sasi ne lege i boys trip. Sasi ne trip nje yetu ya matote. So gang safunu kulu maka kulu maka kutu ya ikumbula jela conversation yetu. Wangu mbuga je watu. Ya gengubani, nteri poi strip. Sizo mkumbula wakulu mfuetu. Gifuna kushia na lao mazuguti. Sasili ndelu tumfuetu habu ya sinde. 
sikubeke ne boys trip kodwa egameni lakhe sizoyenza i boys trip Jikile izinto manje bathi lithatha semnyango lembeke msamu lithatha semsamu lemphosa emnyango phethe mina manje Just look at this look at this Hey ndawo ngichile eh Ik president ya 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 lesko What happens to you? So I put Mr. Kobe, what's going on here? Can I see you outside? That's what I was on duty with Pusa and my students. Yeah. Ubu Pusa in there. I'm not stupid for you. They are wanting to get us and start shouting at me in front of my students. He has no right to do that. Yeah, we send Joel as a shaman. I'm from Oklahoma, my comrade. Look on your hands again. Don't do this now. Ikitando kula yangu kinde kwa nala imsabeni, wena, no Christine. Has marrying me changed you? What? Yes, it did. Yes, soul. Never. Ang soul na kanga. Apanje wa kuma kuma lo. My life would be empty. I wouldn't be the same man. The evidence I have can put you behind bars for a long time. But I'm here to save you, Mickey. Corruption You're not getting the angels and a sheer if four by three meter prison cell. You want to do anything about it? Who's a slag when you buy it and I get one night to buy it? the conviction of the former Treasury Secretary when a crime to chuck. And it lies beneath. Can you get your head in the game? We're pitching in a minute. Oh, my head is in the game, boy. Trust me. I, I, I can break in the car. Pick you, pick you, my belan. Low jacking in Bizu Pabul Kam. Minang in Umazu. M A Z T W I. So, David. I'm from Ket. Which was all on the band part. I'm not jack. If you're a winner, David, I'm not going to kill life in you. But, if you're a loser, divorce the Togo. I'm going to be a next door. Hello, Baba. Hey. I'm going to be a Yabona into enhle manje ukuthi nawe ukhona uzoyibona yonke into enza kala Tanda Ah Fui andar onde bateu o tapa pegou o pôr junto, vendo não cruz. Aí é zeg, quando tem nas afeiras bateu, balance, nal, se acha. Hugo bebê na base do gol, benzo batalha essa parte, embora total lengo menos lengo bane, mego e punga lenga sete, não me colou mo bem triste a marca, mas gob não não, lá como galera pelega triste, pi, quando troca não me denis o buga o bambolam, e triste entre bem de que se linka abino tiro me chi semblo men, que quem se linka se os agangobanes bonagalango pau, cotundo se o é bonagopa. 
u ayu gube bengi na bazu gulu bengi zo batalisa pati mba tota lenge generations ya mashaba no tlomo untombi no kristina angazi minangzo iti nlendaba bengi gazi na gui eti ngu kona ma a-lista sabu gito yom tlaba gui hizo hizo kazlam u gube bengi na bazu gulu bengi zo batela nko menzi ngubane intizo ya semnambizi ivu landela bonke bebe bugela kuye ya afika gui smaya yaba ivilien kwa tatazela ipu beslonke isizo sifundo kulu kuye inchisegelo neko no el mangazayo umuti omkulu wezi katati si zungu uwile ukomanda wa maeta mbazo gulbam na mgika pezu li msebe zika menzi ngubane ikupazela je gulu antela semtuba kulo chiweke uguti kuno suko lbege lwa bandwele lapo siyo shuitwa siyo shala neu ndlo ela felizo no zetu ingelo si za afrika zizo mshangabeza umenzi kwa kala ya onkini ngezi mafrika waza nonke nini nsindo ayo kushi ngelo si totu ngubane ngezanda ya tula ya onki mtalo yake wakogisu mzimbo musha nengu ubo eto legile si ambona ngesho lika moya ese kaka kule chable la izu elisha si ambona ngesho lika moya ebuga umde nwa kina bangan ninga nkale ilimina kotwa zikalele nina ezulu ini ngati kutali mufi kukuta ngeto lo zonki ngelo si zamgelu so maash ama keta nezal kwa ziza kwa ngubane si akikiza kufigi ndota na izu nile sembiso lalaga ase ngubane mbufu so maash nyonyezo eno mafu mialuza ndukumane zikote li mshope matomela Zombane ngokoza bantu No masigi sigi nyone sindo sisila sayo Ndo takanya mazani Kasoto leze sata mabela mshope sawashia ninkeshani Ngu ingwe puza kwe ziti siziba Uma inga puza kwe zifishano mlo munga buya no daga Vato ol pezulu Ngobo il panzo la bafoga za Nina base mabovino kwa kalinkomo kwa kalimbuzi kwa shimizi No mapikwane Pumula minzi ngubane Sang hem Man, oh man. What an effortless performer. Ever so smooth. Ever so suave. Ladies and gents, I'd like to ask you next to please rise to your feet as we welcome O Pastor Father Sammy Masemula, who's going to give us in Konzoye to Namtanje. So the next 10 minutes is for the pastor to really give us that one word as so humble na mtlanje. Pastor Masimula, you can make your way up, sir. Ungu Jehovah, wena, si pepe. Let us pray. 
Faithful Creator and most merciful Savior, we commend into your hands our dear brother Menzi. May we know that we are made in your precious image and that we are precious in your sight. Wash us in the blood of the Lamb who was slain to take away the sins of the world and purge us all of all defilement that we may be presented pure and spotless in your sight through the merits of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Amen. I wish to greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I want to start by thanking the providers of a venue, the Assemblies of God here in Santon. And Tate Debecha, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. The moment you are affording us is quite gracious. As we know, the pulpit is a very sacred place. And so, deepest gratitude to you. So, I want to bring condolences to the family Bahasishuba and Bahangubani from St. Thomas Church. Now, this is the parish where I am the director, the senior pastor, where Mengubani is a member of our council. I think in other churches we'd call them uh, a member of the board of deacons, I think. And also chairing the mother's union. So everything that has been said about her motherly nature, not only is she keeping it to herself, but she's also sharing it with other mothers in prayer and in practice. And so our deepest condolences, Mama, and further condolences from our Bishop Steve Morel, the Bishop of Johannesburg, who, when he heard the news, he was in shock. And the first thing that he said was, I'm a Chiefs fan, so uh, he, 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 you see, you're not alone, you're not alone, Boudoua. So thank you for this moment. I'm going to start by reading a text from the Gospel according to St. John in chapter 6. John chapter 6. And I will read from the 37th verse. All those that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but the will of the one who sent me, and this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up in the last day. For the Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Now, when Mengubani asked me to come and share a word with you, um, it is obviously quite an honor, but also a trepidation. So I did what most Anglican priests will do at a moment like this, we bring our Paschal candle. This is a candle that we light every Easter, Easter Eve in the evening. And if you look at it, it has a cross on it, and it has five nails on it. It has Alpha and Omega in the year 2020. We are not in the wrong year. We'll only light a new one, Easter, this year, and it'll say 2021. Being an Easter candle, its message is of the resurrection, which is the hope of all Christian people. Without the resurrection, we are nothing. And so when death happens, we remember that we are a people of the resurrection, a people of the Alpha and Omega, a people of the one who was crucified, a people of the one with the five wounds in his hands, his feet, and his side, a people of the Lord of all time. And so we carry this candle quite often when you go to memorial services or funerals. What is it that gathers us, us, that gathers us today here? We call it a memorial service, so we are here to remember. But what does remembering mean, and what does it have to do with the resurrection? To remember, the simple place to start is to say to remember is to make sure that nothing is lost, not even the events. So 
we are here to remember, we are here to join our Lord in the words that he says in that portion of John chapter 6. The Father has sent me to come and get all that he has given to me. So basically to not forget a single thing. So we are already on a journey with the Lord. None, not a single word that was uttered here is useless. It is a part of a process of remembering putting back together that which is shattered. We are here to come and share a bit of it. In the Anglican church, we have stained glass windows. Many other churches have those. And you'd have a figure of a saint or somebody that would want to remember. In a sense, that's what we are here to do because a stained glass window has two characteristics. Broken glasses and each of them stained. Now all of us, our lives are broken in certain ways and each, each piece may have a certain color. We are here to gather the pieces of glass, if you wish, that are men's in Gubani. Death seeks to shatter, sickness seeks to, to shatter, injustice seeks to shatter, life may seek to break you down. And we are here to try and gather as many of those pieces and continue doing that together with the Lord. We are putting them together with the Lord and saying, this is what we can do, Lord. You gather the rest of men's in Gubani. When we remember, it is an intellectual exercise. When God remembers, we call it resurrection. That is life coming back, light shining through again those, through those pieces of glass that perhaps may have been shattered one way or the other. And so when we talk of Menzingubani, the consummate actor, the humble man, the straight talker, the husband, the father, the Christian, the mjita, the, the activist, the person, these are the pieces that we gather together, the pieces that we've seen that death is trying to steal away. And we're saying, ah, uh ah, -uh, bring them back. We want them to be put together in the name of the Lord, who's the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord who died on the cross for each one of us, including Menzi, the Lord with the five wounds, two in his hands, two in his feet, and one in his side. And it is only proper when you've got somebody called Abud Menzi, a ninja for Christ. It would be wrong to try and remember him outside of that context. And so we are gathered to remember a man of impeccable work ethic, a man who reminds us of something of the Lord. Remember that our Lord gave us his best when he was at his worst, when he was locked up, chained, dragged in the streets, and crucified. Menzi gave us some of his best, if not the best, when he was not well. That is, when you are a ninja for Christ, that your life can start to reflect itself that way. It is not to glorify suffering, but it is to say that the power of the resurrection works in you even before you die. He suffered, we know. He was in and out of hospital. We know what kind of support Mesikelela gave to him. And yet, even under unfair contracts. Remember that if anything, what crucified our Lord is something that we call sin. And that is basically the unfairness of the world, of me and you and others. When the world was unfair, he still gave. Now what remains is... What do we do with that memory? What do we do with that memory? Once that stained glass window is put together by our Lord, and the Lord seeks to shine through it again, I think it was our Radom uh, Velas who sang earlier, that let them know you because you are the light that shines through me. We take that memory and we say, you've showed us something, Lord. You've showed us that you can shine through a human being. 
And even as we await the final resurrection, we come to this perpetual remembering. We don't want to forget him. We don't want to forget the gift that he's been to us. We don't want you to stop shining through who he has been to us. Keep shining. And that is when we'll stand up and be people of excellence like he's been. We'll stand up and be people of gratitude like he's been. We'll stand up and be people of generosity like he has been. We'll stand up and be fighters for justice as he has been. We can't wait for one person to fight. Let that light shine and pray to God that it shines through you too, through the pieces of stained, broken glass that your life might be, that Christ may shine through it, that God's justice may shine in the industry. It's not just a political matter. I usually say to people, when you're facing unemployment, we all know that it's not just economic, it's spiritual. People change, which is why we pray and look for work. And if you are at work, we want to unionize and we want to find ways because there is nothing that is outside the ambit of the Alpha and the Omega the one who was on the cross, the one with the five nails, the one who rose so that you and I can live and live and live and live. And so we are gathered here to put together the remembrance of Menzingubani. Think of it as a life that's like a piece of art. We don't want to lose one piece of it for the light that shines through it might touch somebody. So remembering becomes the work that we do and the grace of the Lord meets us as he shines through even our memory of Menzinguban. He was a child, he was a teenager, he was a young adult, he was an African, he was many things. We put them all together and we say, Lord, continue to shine through this memory into our lives and let this be a sign of the truth of the resurrection that is to come and I'm going to close with two things this is another reading from Romans chapter 5 which I think characterizes and we can see it very strongly in the life of Ndatengubani Paul writes to the Romans in chapter 5 from the third verse, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character. Character produces hope. Dating Gubani was not just a person that when we look at, looked at him just saw hope one way or the other. It is because he persevered through suffering and that suffering kept building his character and you know, when you've got people of character, you have hope because you know what you're going to get. So let the memory of Ndatengubane be a memory that will encourage us to know how to fruitfully go through difficult times and suffering, how to persevere, how to be a people of character. For when you have people of character, hope begins to abound, ultimately hope for the resurrection. And that resurrection is making sure that no piece goes missing. Not a single piece goes missing. Now I'm going to end with the words that we find in an Anglican prayer book for this ninja for Christ. Go forth, Christian soul, on your journey from this world. In the name of the Almighty Father who created you. In the name of Jesus Christ who suffered for you. In the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you. In communion with the holy apostles, confessors, martyrs, and all the blessed saints, and aided by angels and archangels and all the armies of the heavenly host, may you enter this day into the new Jerusalem, the abode of peace, and dwell with God forever. And with those words, I'm going to extinguish the Paschal candle, not because we do not believe in the resurrection anymore, but we know that Menzi's soul, as our Lord ascended, he too ascends. Amen.
mobak na bazalwa na bangalaleli kuna bazalwa na bazitse ukuthi bayezwa bayalalela kodwa balaleli ngoba kunezwi lenkosi lethi akubo bonke abathi inkosi inkosi abayobona umbuso wezwi Yabana ngenze ukuthi uhleli la usitshela ukuthi mina njengoba ngilila kuleli thende nje ubona umuso wezulu kanti kha ngoba unesipepe khuluma kakhulu ubheke emacele na ubheka ngukuthi wena kase wena umi kuphicala wena la umi khona ye basalona yasi asingakhohlisana nangabe umkhaphi ukhapha abanye Usengozi. Kulenda wakuna na bakapi. Ulungisinda bayako ngobu ya skuti. Yes, alolo su. So ulungisinda bayako kari kuti. Ulungisuti umefiga. Akolo redi. Ilawa na lawa ola na msanja. Au zanga ngobu makelone wako unjana. Ulungisele la wena. Ngobanalifikusuku yoba ngayakho umakhelwa uyabuwedwa ha Sikubeke nohlelo bengicela ukubiza ilunga lomndeni usisifike lephi azosinika ama funeral arrangements kangups Eh, form to be alone. See you. Sis, figure lepi. Nia bingelela intamba ama ekamilin kusia muche su Christu amen. E umsebenzi au mkulu mwane kutoa unzima benga zuri ni langa ni bingi mila ni zama funeral announcement za mfuwe chumiz mungu bakuwa ni zai announcement yomshato e uputu pontin kala mukbonga before ni zai announcement si abonga kakuulu abapati boselo si bonga ivenyu si bonga amau kana hizo swini sofi and your team siya bonga kakul. Inche lo zomu abu zimira nje, umu abu zoba ngomu kebelo, the 20th of March, L.A. Smith Indoor Sports Center, yonkonzo zo kala ngo ten, after yonkonzo, kuzo punywa, abanyiba zo sala, yonkonzo yonma samba, sesu yele kaya, lagu fi yegube nyonkonzo futi, kababa no minzi, besi after yonkonzo se kaya, suzo hamba, siya matunin endao, Mnambiti, niabonga kuhuli ni chula lega sepotuam, zokumbula mizo, ni kumbula maso timi yaman, wangu ekchel, mina mangu ekchel ni apatal, wenu zopatalo ban, songe lunga ni ekchel, hambaga sensumban, vachul pezulu mabul panzo la ba fogaza, niabon. Bongi ya kulu, sisi figelepi. Yatemba kwa gele, bantu bageti, ngumkebelo, uselo la menzo sobe semnambiti, gubu mpele kaya. We just like to thank some of the contributors for this amazing and worthy um, remembrance. I'm not going to call it a send-off. It's a remembrance for our brother, Umenzi. Um, this is not the last time we celebrate him. This is the beginning of the next phase of us remembering Umenzi and celebrating him. With that said, there's been a lot of people that have played an incredible part in making sure that in such a short time, things could be turned around and we could give this king a worthy ceremony, and I'd like to thank them, and I'll just name them quickly. 
We'd like to thank the Assemblies of God Church for housing us here today and of course for allowing us to stream this entire ceremony on your platforms, on the YouTube and, and, and on the Facebook platforms. And um, we're incredibly honored that you know, um, our nation could still join us on those platforms and help us remember our brother. The Church Extras, Ukoni, Shona Ferguson, Ferguson Films. For the Church AV, we'd like to thank Mr. Mfundi Vundla of Marula Pictures. For the Church Flowers, Winning Java, Royalty Soapy Awards. For the Deco and Furniture Supply, big thank you to Nono Events. For the Memorial Design and Planning Coordination, Sebong Asis Sophie Di Chaba, for Sofla Events. For the posters and signage and COVID protocol, we thank you again, Sis Sophie. For the live Facebook feed technician, Nubong Indaba, for Shasia Bonga for the catering. From Bomb Shelter, Angus Gibson and Desiree McCroft, a big thank you. For the juice and beverages, a big thank you to Tiger Brands. Catering and labor services, Maribelo, we thank you. For the beverages and generators, JTP Construction, Sia Bonga. Publicity and PR, Spiwe, Majola, Mkaya. What's the name of the place? You find it in the name of the place. Spiwe. Not forgetting, of course, the artists who took their time out on their work days, the colleagues, the industry. Brothers and sisters, thank you for really helping us send our champion to a much better place, Namhlanje. Sibonge Uchudit Sapuma, Given Mabana, Loveline, Musa Yende, Andi Swambanza, Unatim Zekeli, Ntlantla Zofo, Leratum Velase, Nom Tishishi, and of course, the Mabala Noise team for the role they've played in making sure that we have beautiful melody here today. We'd also like to thank you for catering and for the labor and staff that has dedicated themselves today. And without fail, I would like to thank you, every single person that really took time out and showed up. And for us to respect the protocols and to respect the COVID regulations today, it's really, really a pleasure to see. And from me, Plazeli Mina, Small town boy from Ladysmith, born and bred. Siakbonga means. Siakbonga mteno kangubane. Ses bonge lanje i tuba eni sipelo na no menzi. The moments that we owe you so much for, for lending us this man's life. We thank you for the fighter that he was. We work in such an incredibly unfair and tough and unkind industry. But there's people like Umenzi who still get up and do it no matter what. So to the entire nation, thank you very much. To the Ngubana family, thank you for this big contribution. The beauty about what we do is that our work is forever and forever and forever and forever. Menzi is eternal. His work is eternal. And his impact, although underrated, is eternal. From myself, thank you. Yombi lingo bambi sana, joba bis, begene na lulu shelo. Kuna bantu, abanga soze babongwa on platforms like this. Aengo ba, singa ibo nanga mshampe indi, mayabo numikaza labo kota. Ngoba gupku nukbonga wungu muntu kota. I hope, lani kona, ni azu utumdeni, uluzu ilu tandolwenu, sislinda. Dr. Linda, menzu bembizu Dr. Linda. Dr. Linz, miyazu kutubumta ndanga anani mfuetu. 
ne support om nige yona. When I heard of Menzi's passing, I was very angry. I was angry because no legend or icon should die like Menzi. Put up in a cleaning so Bengang is an impeller manga. In the years that two men had worked, if this industry was fair, he should have accumulated enough wealth. Yazu to Bubela, abaning Bezu Babuzu to Paso Funandla. Go be male secret, Tayo, secret Abandu Benga Seco. Gungakas the Menzella corner manje aga seco. Go bangi show. Belling out to Alla Lily or Luxala Benga Vogue. I was so guilt ridden over the last couple of days thinking I could have done more. Because in truth, we failed him. This industry failed him. This man that we now call a legend and an icon failed him. Sengvala, so if only Tagazel was a king tiger, come to I and Tagazel and Jungle Move. It's a Pumula Move, Pumula so much. Pumula Nyon Yeswe. Hamburg, I said no man for me, I lose it. No man is what tell him shop in my domain. No massig is he. Nyon Yeswe, Nyon is in the silo sire. No Tagania Mazan. Hamburg, Vatol Pezul, and Wall Pansy, or Laba Fogazan. When I was a mabon vin, or at my figure, Wakali and Goma Wakala, in booze washing missy, no mapy one. Gabong and poet Got and Dongi Pelon of Sapila. We are Della Wena, Owen Julian goes, we are telling when on a second I'm seven or seven. I'm big as them both. I'm Thank you very much, everybody. Please do stick around after this rendition that you're about to hear called It's Time to Say Goodbye. We serving some light lunch. Thank you once again. God bless you all. Sono solo sogna lorni so che manca le parole Se lo so che luce luce non ha stanza quando manca la sole Sei non ci sei tu con me, con me Su le finestre 
mostra al tutto il mio cuore che è acceso chiudi dentro me la luce che ha incontrato per strada time to say goodbye paesi che non ho mai e tutto è vissuto con te adesso si vivrò con te partirò su nuovi per la mare che io lo so It's time to say goodbye. Quando sei lontana, sogno l'orizzonte, manca le parole. Se io sole tu sei qui con me, con me. Tu mia luna, tu sei qui con me. Io sole tu sei qui con me, con me, con me, con me.
Oh, 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 oh,
Two days. Good boy. Baba, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit of